My name is Deborah Griffin, and I am a tribal member here on the Hill River Indian Reservation. Unfortunately, we didn't always have a priest here. We would have a visiting priest, and sometimes we didn't even have that. So my mom would always do the, the prayer service. My mom would always get the um, midnight masses together. My mom did all of that stuff. She was so busy trying to keep, you know, we were here cleaning the church. There are so many things that we would do as a family to just try to keep up the faith. It's really unfortunate, but they felt like they were not important to the Catholic diocese. They felt like they were forgotten, that they were left out, yet they were still here. They still did their, their prayer groups. They still did things, but at the same time, that's really how they felt. They felt like they were just forgotten. It's really difficult for our Native people to get that attention that they need, especially in this time and with the issues that we have in this community. You know, we have drug abuse, we have um, alcohol abuse, and just so many things going on where we need priests here. You need a pastoral presence here. You need priests here. These people deserve to have priests here. Um, that's what the Lord wants, you know? Um, and so that hopefully we could, we could be that, you know, that we can, we can grow and that we can provide that for them. Um, but that they would also know that even when there weren't priests here, that, that the Father had been here and that he had, he had a plan for them and that he hasn't forgotten them, you know, um, and that they would, they would be able to know that. And I think a lot of them do because they have really beautiful faith. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your might. The reservation is a place of faith. Um, and their faith, they've prayed, prayed, prayed for, for years um, for, uh, you know, I think for, for, for mustard seeds, you know, they've prayed for a little bit of yeast. And, um, uh, just that some some priests, spirit-filled priests, would come, and uh, Franciscans. They and they had a specific prayer, and um, and they've said to us since, you know, like we realize that why it's ta it took us so many prayers, why it took us so long, is because uh, you guys weren't even born yet when we started praying. These priests bring a lot of healing. They bring a lot of faith. They bring a lot of strength. And anybody that is open to God and is vulnerable to God can see that in them, you know, and that's the good thing about them. That's what they bring to the community, but they just need to bring more like them. And that would be basically a miracle. You look out on the reservation and like you see the desert, right? The desert is like this place, it's kind of daunting, but you wait till like seven or eight o'clock at night in the summer and the sun comes like just in the right way and it hits the mountains and it hits even like the cactuses and the, the things that are like blowing around in the desert just in the just the right way. And that light just makes it so beautiful. Um, and that's what Jesus does. He comes into the places that are dark and he makes it beautiful. The people have always had their, their faith and spiritual beliefs and having the friars come and bring their, their spirit, their faith, their healing, um, is really, it's a, a testament to what the people have been praying for.